Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. We're going to talk about the main part of the story mission, which is turning off the big satellite comms tower. Now, Marguerite Maida, if you don't know who she is, look up the videos on the channel, has given you a quest in exchange to get information on your lost sister, Sam. That's why Robin, the main protagonist, is here. Now, this quest involves shutting down the great big massive satellite comms tower on Delta Station Island. Now, in the previous versions of the game, this used to be a rocket, now it's a comms tower. And it's all about satellite surveillance. Anyway, Marguerite Maida wants it shut down and will give you some information. But doing this is a little bit involved. So, I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Now, if you don't know who Marguerite Maida is, then perhaps you haven't advanced a, a further along in this game as what you should have. In which case then, I would suggest stopping this video right here, as there's going to be spoilers. However, if you do know who I'm talking about, then you would have encountered her on Delta Station Island, as you've ascended to the peak of that island's mountain. She'll tell you to stay off her land, but we laugh at warnings such as this, and you're going to follow this protagonist to see what it's all about and see what she's she's got to say for herself. She's the only human you've seen on the planet so far. So to do this, you're going to have to have the equipment to get yourself down to about 379, 380 meters, uh, as that's where Marguerite's base is located. As you venture in and have a good explore, make sure you've got enough inventory space. And also, make sure you take the time to listen to the story. Now, I've got a video describing this entire cut sequence on my channel, and I'm not going to labour it by turning me talking off over it. But what suffice to say, what Marguerite says is, hey, I've got information on your sister, but you've got to turn that great big whopping satellite comms tower off. Now, that's all well and good. She'll also tell you that everything that you need, all the bits and pieces, are going to be on the table bits of technology that she can't get to work. And that's fine. So make sure you've got your scanner equipped with you because you're going to have to scan the items that you're going to be given access to in Marguerite Maida's base in order to get some key components. Now to do this and to shut the satellite tower down, you're going to need to create a test override module. Hey, no problem. Um, it's there, right on the table in front of us. She says there's some junk on the table that might help out. There's the test override module. It's all broken. Get your scanner out and get scanning. Now I've turned on the yellow glow effect, which can be done in the settings. Check out my video on that as well. The test override module fragment, there's only one fragment of it. Once you scan it, you get the blueprint. But to build it, you're going to need certain items. Titanium, lead, copper, well, that's in abundance, but also a parallel processing unit. And there are three components of that which you require to make that particular unit and then build the test module. All right, and then shut the tower down. Have a good look around Marguerite Maida's base, do some scanning, pick up the logs, immerse yourself in the lore, because things are going to start to get a little bit explorative. Now here I am at Delta Station Dock, the great big old landmass that you've probably already got to in Subnautica Below Zero. Well we're off to go and find the crashed wreckages of the Mercury 2. Now I said wreckages there because there's actually two Mercury 2 crash sites as the ship has split in two. Now I'm heading, as you can see, south to southeast away from Delta Station Dock and where the dock is actually located. And it's not too far away to, before you actually start falling across the, the rear part of the Mercury 2 ship. There you are, you can see it just coming out of the gloomy waters as well. So this rusted old ship does contain two of the parallel processing unit blueprints that you need. Now you only need three. I'm gonna show you how you get four. Now, what you do is move yourself round to the front of the rear section of the Mercury 2. And look at the bottom. You'll see all these lovely purple thermal vents. But be careful, there's some beasties around. Don't get too caught up on the fact that there's massive doors and openings. We want to go in via the bottom. Get your sea truck, or if you're not using a sea truck, make sure you've got lots of air, and get right down underneath it 
where the gap is. You'll see a massive rent in the hull of this ship. Now, that's where you're going. Make sure you've got lots of inventory space, you've stocked up on food and water, you've got a torch, and you've got a laser cutter, because that's going to be paramount to getting through and getting some of these parts. Now, you're going to find a couple of boxes in these crates as well, with batteries in it and whatnot. So I would encourage you to pick all that stuff up. That's all well and good. Once you've searched the main room and picked up copper and all the other items, it's time to get on to find the first parallel processing unit. So from the room with all the boxes that you've got the batteries out, cross the hallway and there on the wall is the first container that you've got to cut open with your laser cutter to get the first parallel processing unit. Now, as I mentioned, there are two of these units on the ship but all you have to do is once you've cut that door open is give it a good scanning. Once you've given it a good scanning, that's the first blueprint for the parallel processing unit that you're going to need. Now, you only need three, right? OK, so cutting it is a bit of a slow process. Make sure you've got power in your laser cutter because that would be really embarrassing, wouldn't it? I and mean, once you've done it, you can see there's the unit in all its glory. Get your scanner out and get scanning. There you go, easy pips, no dramas. Now at this stage, I like to go back and recharge all my oxygen and then head back into the structure. Straight through into the room where you first found the first parallel processing unit and then look up, another great big hole in the ceiling. This is gonna take you into main engineering and you can see a hole there in the wall. Over to the section, now I've already picked this one up, so you'll have to apologize for me there. Um, you can just scan it straight off the bat, but that's where it's going to be. So that's point number two for the second parallel processing unit. Now, on to number three. Well, number three is gonna be in a completely different section of the Mercury 2. And this section is a little ways away. So time to get back to your mode of transport of choice and start heading on to the second section of the Mercury 2. Now to find the bow section of the Mercury 2, you're gonna to have to head directly from the front section of the rear part of the Mercury 2 and head south, southeast. Now, orientate yourself like I have. If you've got the compass, it makes it easier. Turn directly around, south, southeast. And you can see my beacon is there for the Mercury 2 front, about 300 meters away. Shouldn't take too long if you've got a boot section on that sea truck module. Now, much like the rear section of the Mercury 2, the front of the Mercury 2 is gonna be a broken piece of ship, and there's gonna be different rents and access ways of which you can get in. Now, the parallel processing units, and there's two in here as well, making up the four components, are quite easily located but you're gonna get sidetracked because there's so many other aspects that you can find inside these wreckages as well. There's gonna be an alien containment unit. There's gonna be a nuclear reactor. You're gonna be able to get in there and pick up reactor rods as well to power that nuclear reactor and power your base. All this stuff is gonna detract you away from getting that parallel processing unit. Now, as you can see, this is the bridge section with a nice window at the front of the Mercury 2. Now, where you want to get in is round the side, and there are definite massive rents which you can gain access into the ship. Have a good explore, drinking all the lore and the ambience of the, of the entire section. So, here we go. You can see the split at the back. Once you've got to that split, it's time to enter the structure. Now, there's a few places you can enter here, but I typically enter this way, park the old sea truck with its lights, gazing straight into the structure, gives you a little bit of orientation as well, and you can see a door right there. Now make sure you've got that laser cutter well charged because you're gonna to need to do some cutting. There's a few doors to get through and to cut through before you get in there. So you might have to go back and forth to your oxygen source before you actually get that sorted out um, to its completion. But into the main chamber, there's another door. Make sure you cut that open. 
And if you need to replace your power source like I did, make sure you've got a battery with you as well. Else it could be really, really embarrassing. Fortunately, I did. So continue to cut the door and it is a bit of a laborious process, but it's a necessary part of Subnautica Below Zero. This will give you access to another section. In this section, you're going to find lots of items to pick up as well, lots of crates in what looks like to be some sort of a mess hall area. You can pick up Chinese potatoes and these are really good for growing things in your plant pots. But like I say, make sure you've got some of that inventory space as well. You can always go back anyway. Right, once you've picked up your potatoes, turn around and you'll see a hatch. In through the hatch and in through one of the access tunnels. Get yourself all the way down until you come out into another room. And in that room, you will find parallel processing unit number three. Now you may want to go back and review that part. It did happen quite quick. But as soon as you found those crates with those old Chinese potatoes, then you're going to be able to go in there and cut open and reveal the parallel processing unit number three. Give it a good scan. And as soon as you can, get back to your oxygen source and replenish your oxygen. Make sure you don't run out of air because that'd be really embarrassing. Now, once you've recharged your oxygen yet again, I'll show you where the fourth and final, well, I say final, you've already got all the parts to make the override module, but just to be a completist, I'll show you where the fourth module is. Now you're gonna make your way up to the bridge section. So find where the alien containment unit is and there's another access tunnel there as well. You can see as we're getting in towards the front of the ship, there is the parallel processing unit that we scanned in the last section of this video. Through the doors, you will see all the ribbon plants. You may wanna collect those if needed to. Look at all the debris on the floor. It's absolutely everywhere. They made a right old mess of this ship. Here's the mess hall. Again, more debris. Open up any boxes. There's going to be food in case you're getting thirsty or hungry. Take advantage of going back to this area, scanning everything and picking everything you possibly can up. Now, be on the lookout for any oxygen plants. These are gonna be your friend. Don't get off too far off the beaten track though. Recharge that oxygen when you can. Move back up into the structure, follow the vines, and from the mess hall up through a vent in the ceiling. All the way through the vent, Replenish your oxygen again. And here you are on the bridge of the Mercury 2. Now this bridge section, there's going to be a PDA for you to scan as well to get more information and lore about Subnautica Below Zero and another oxygen plant. Make sure you use that to its most advantage. Pick up the PDA. And at the bridge console, you will see the fourth and final parallel processing unit. Now, you'll just get titanium for those if you've picked up the other three and you've got all the materials you'll need. Now to make the override module, you're gonna need a parallel processing unit for which you're gonna need gold, silver and table coral. And then you're also gonna need then to get that along with some titanium, some lead and some copper to make the override module. Now go and collect all your materials and make your parallel processing unit. This will then go into the test override module, which will require a processing unit, some titanium, lead and copper, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Once you've made your override module, which to be fair is quite gratifying to watch being built in the fabricator, it's time to get it over to Delta Station Dock. And once at Delta Station Dock, you're going to be able to plug it in to the satellite array, therefore shutting it down, putting it into test mode and getting old Marguerite Maida on side. Once at the pinnacle of Delta Station, you can see the satellite array, as you saw at the beginning of the video. Up the stairwell, make sure you've obviously got the unit you need with you in your inventory. Round to the back of the structure, there's an open panel and then 
select the panel and put it into test mode. This is a little automated cut sequence. Robin, the main protagonist, will then say, great, now back to the terminal with all that plugged in. Down the old ladder to the terminal and enter test mode. And that is it. You have now not only scanned the module, the test module in Marguerite Maida's base, you've also found four of the parallel processing units, you only need three, built the test module and then plugged it in to the satellite, with the satellite now being down. You can then progress to the next part of the story and see what Marguerite has got to say about Sam. Thank you much for your time and watching this video on the parallel processing unit and shutting down the satellite. I've been Ricardo. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Plenty more Subnautica and Subnautica videos on the channel. Thank you very much for your support.